Well, hello again, YouTube. This is Chuck, and it's Monday, June 10th, 2024. It's a little after 2 in the afternoon, and as you can see, I'm back in my recording studio, and I've got a kind of a continuation from yesterday, and, well, I tell you what, the in Chuck world, the crazy train just keeps rolling, so I've got an update. Uh, I've got another picture from Alabama Al that I want to share with you, and I've got a little bit of a news story to tell you here, and First off, my video that I did yesterday, uh, by golly, it's taken off. It's just, I just, a uh, little bit ago, it hit a thousand views in 23 hours, and which is pretty good for a little channel like mine, and I thank y'all who watched that. And uh, once again, I'm trying not to get totally off on the Bigfoot thing, but the, the information keeps coming, and I keep wanting to share it with you. So this is another, as I said, this is going to be an update, another Bigfoot video. And So first of all, uh, the picture that uh, that I showed you yesterday, uh, well, y'all know I have a squatching partner named Kevin, and Kevin has his own channel, and Kevin's channel is called Arizona Squatch. So if you haven't watched that one, go over and check that one out. And it's a Bigfoot, only Bigfoot channel, and I try to bring you a variety of stuff on my channel, but anyway, well, Kevin, uh, yesterday, Kevin had, uh, he was out of town. He had to go down to the big city and uh, he didn't get back home until a little bit later, so he actually didn't watch yesterday's video until this morning. And so this, so this morning, uh, pretty early, uh, I'm sitting down there having my morning coffee, and I get a text from him. And he said he, he told me that he watched the video, and when that picture came up, as soon as that picture came up, he got very solid mind speak. And the mind speak told him that individual's name. Now that individual lives in Alabama. So how did anybody here know his name? But Kevin said it was unmistakable. And the name that they gave was Cherake. And it was spelled C-H-I-R-A-K-E, but it was pronounced like chair ache, the word chair and the word ache. And uh, obviously it's a pretty good sized adult male, but didn't get him other information. But uh, the, apparently there was one there with Kevin when he watched that video. And he told Kevin very, very clearly in mind speak what that individual's name was. Well, I went ahead and sent a text message to tell Alabama Al, but I think he's probably working today. So I haven't heard back from him yet. So I thought that was pretty, just pretty darned amazing. And I had a viewer that questioned how far a way they could mind speak and I don't really know an answer for that one but here again it's probably easily well over 2,000 miles between here and Alabama and apparently the you know we we theorize and we think we've been told that uh, what they have a, what we call a hive mentality and what one knows they all know and what one feels they all feel and that's just uh, that's just some more evidence of that so also uh, let me move on I've got another picture I'm going to share with you today from Alabama Al, and uh, this one here, uh, it's not quite as clear, it's not as clear as the last one, but I'll, uh, before I plug the picture in, uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, this is the woods right out, right near his house, and he was out uh, taking pictures, and I'm not quite sure what he was taking pictures of, but when he got back and looked at the picture, he noticed that there was a tree in the picture that, and the tree, is all, of course, has always been there. It's a pretty good-sized tree, probably maybe a, I don't know, 12-inch tree, maybe bigger. Anyway, when he looked at the picture, there was about a 10-foot section of the tree trunk that was just flat missing. It wasn't there. You could see right through it. You could see the everything behind it, but it wasn't there. Well, when he told me about it, and uh, he sent me the, he sent me the picture, and I, when I first took a glance at it, he told me what you know what I was looking at, and I saw that, and I said, yeah, but I, I didn't actually, yesterday, I didn't take a, a real deep dive into it. Uh, he sent me quite a few pictures, and I didn't really, really look at that one seriously until this morning. And uh, this, so this morning, I called it up and kind of started blowing it up, looking at it and trying to figure out what the deal was. And my first reaction was that there must have been a cloaked uh, Sasquatch person standing this side of the tree. Well, sure enough, when I got the thing, I blew the thing up, and sure enough, I can see, I can see uh, a 
cloaked individual standing right there by this side of the tree and the and uh, so I'm gonna put that up here in a little bit but what I want to tell you is what you're looking for is the head that first of all the individuals facing to the left in the picture so you're looking at a profile of his left side he's kind of hunched over uh, he's actually standing this side where that tree is by quite a distance and he's slightly hunched over so the part of the tree that's being blocked out uh, is kind of maybe from about his knees to his head something along that nature now a while back when I tried to put up one before I tried to do an outline of it and I think that made it actually worse it made it actually harder to see but when you look at this picture and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it first I'm gonna show you I'll put up a picture showing you the section of the tree that's missing and then I'm gonna put in another picture that zooms way in on it and once again of course you can stop and back up and look at it for as long as you want and you know do a do a screen grab and and blow it up and whatever you want to do but what I'm seeing there is I'm seeing that individual and on either side of where he's standing everything is the everything is in very clear focus now right where he is standing you everything looks blurry but both uh, remember he's looking off to the side so you're looking at his left side profile so in front of him everything is in clear focus behind him everything is in clear focus but right where he's standing everything is kind of blurry that's what you're looking for so what I think is is a pretty good size individual that's standing there the interesting thing about that is is that that uh, we don't know how they managed to bend the light we don't know how they do that but in this particular case however he did it uh, you can see right through him you can see all the stuff on the ground behind him but what you can't see is about a 10-foot section of the trunk of that tree now first of all that tree is not going to remain suspended up there if somebody takes a 10-foot chunk out of it the other part about it is the log be laying on the ground in the background where you can see it and it's not there so what I think happened is uh, I stand by that is that there's a cloaked one standing between the camera and the tree and for some reason when he cloaked uh, he also included about a 10 foot section of that 12 inch tree and so it's just it's for, for looking at it uh, in the picture it's just flat not there and I thought that was pretty interesting of course that came from Alabama Al and so I got one more something new that came in and I'm uh, I have another guy that I'm working with and this guy's been a squatcher for quite a while but he's he's kind of been on the uh, on the flesh and blood side of the fence and so he's interested enough and open-minded enough that he's been in contact with me by email he started out commenting one of my videos and then I've been trading emails with him and I've actually talked to him on the phone and uh, and he saw a comment that where somebody asked about how far away they could mind speak and told me no and I gave him a couple of indications of something that I that I was aware of I mean I've had one mind speak with me from a family that lives um, over 100 miles away but I don't know what the, the total extent is how far they can actually do that well he told me a story that happened a while back and that he was out and he was trying to do basically follow the blueprint that I gave him about how to how to how to do it how to step across the line from the flesh and blood camp into the for lack of a better term the woo camp and actually try to make contact with them and he's been out there trying to do that and he's had a little bit of success but he hasn't really had the hasn't really had the big aha moment yet but anyway he said that several weeks ago he was out and uh, after he got home he's he called his mother his mother lives 400 miles away and his mother is uh, the way he phrases it she's awake and so she knows about this stuff and she's had experiences of her own well he talked to her about what had happened that night and after he hung up the phone uh, she I guess she was there in the house by herself or whatever and all of a sudden she got a very clear uh, verbal it wasn't uh, it wasn't a mind speak she got very very clear verbal and it sounded like right in the room with her and it was a very strong voice that said he's not ready so of course she called him back and told him that and he said that he'd uh, just before he left that night he he sensed a very very strong presence that had showed up there and uh, so anyway that was uh you know he's 400 miles away from her and she got and she got that message and she said it didn't seem like it was mind speak seemed like it was verbal right in the room with her 
Very strong commanding voice. So did that individual do that from 400 miles away or did he have a local one come and do it? We don't know. But that'll give you something to think about and something a little bit more to chew on. So I was going to stop the video a while back and plug that picture in and I got to talk and I didn't do that. So I'm going to plug that picture in right here. Okay, hope you were able to see that. Uh, I know some of you can, and some of you, some of you are better at watching that stuff than others. And and if you see any other individuals in that first picture that I missed, go ahead and let me know in the comments about it. But right now, I'm, I'm gonna, as I always do, I'll tell you to take care of each other and love each other and take care of yourself as well. And uh, you know, it's a great big world out there. There's a lot going on, and man, for my in my for my end anyway, the crazy train just keeps on a chugging. So until I talk to you again, let me just tell you as I always do, peace out.